Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were spotted going out to dinner at Sushi by Scratch Restaurants, a sushi restaurant at the Montecito Inn. Sussexes didn't go out for dinner solo, they were reportedly joined by Gwyneth Paltrow and her husband Brad Falchuk, Cameron Diaz and husband Benji Madden, and Whitney Wolf Hurd, Bumble CEO, and her husband Michael Hurd. All four couples are local to the area, Diaz and Madden live in Montecito, as do Paltrow and Falchuk. The newest residents to the California community are the Herds, who just purchased Helen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's Montecito home. The intimate space serves only 10 diners at a time, offering a 109-pound 17-corso macasse tasting menu, including otero curodai, bluefin, tisane albacore tuna, and scallops. The website reads, Behind the door lies an intimate counter housing 10 prized seats, where you'll sit right up to the chef's cutting boards, relax, and enjoy as the chefs prepare a playful reverie on New Wave Nigeria and other delicacies from both land and sea, in a free-form interpretive take on the traditional sushi counter experience where you can expect unexpected riffs on beloved standards. Alas, Harry doesn't eat fish. Instead, he was granted special permission to bring in his own pound 23 pound steak from a restaurant called Lucky's down the road. Julian, one of the waiters, explained to the son, Harry said that he didn't eat fish, so we let him bring in his own takeaway meal and eat it while Megan had the sushi. Another waiter, who didn't wish to be named, added, They come here quite often, but we were asked not to discuss them or talk about them. We were also told not to talk to them, and that photos weren't allowed so they don't get bothered whenever they come here. According to a Gwyneth Paltrow source, they initially had a good time while they chatted about kids' school and the U.S. election over tandoori chicken, typical male-female conversation. But then suddenly, there was a chill between them. At some point, there was a dispute between the spouses. The prince left suddenly, leaving his wife without a word of explanation. The location they chose was very intimate so his departure was immediately noticed by all of the guests. Suddenly, he got up and left, which amazed Meghan and other restaurant goers. Before she became the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle stood and watched as an aide demanded a private area for her at a push restaurant. The aide then named dropped Prince Harry, saying, Meghan needed a table because it was for someone who's dating a prince. Former mater D. Michael catches Alina, who worked at the restaurant for two and a half years, wrote, I said I still don't have a private table for you, Megan. Then known primarily for her acting role in the TV show Suits, Megan arrived 20 minutes early for a booking with a handler who allegedly became aggressive with staff. Are you aware that my guest is dating Prince Harry and about to be a duchess? Don't you have a private area for us to wait? That aide allegedly said. My first impulse was to laugh, said Catches Alina. I couldn't give two shits about Prince Harry's date, and by the attention the escort was drawing from the crowd at the bar, neither did anyone else. He claims Meghan was aloof and didn't say a word. We get the most powerful people in the world that come here no one really cares about you he says he told the handler.